Flamio Hotman, with the recent live-action Avatar The Last Airbender reveal at Netflix to Dumb, I thought it would be interesting to compare the similarities and differences between the live-action Team Avatar and the original animation Team Avatar. Let me know anything you noticed that I miss in the comments down below. Oh yeah, before I start, if you're a fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me out, so thank you. Now let's start this comparison with Aang, and we'll compare his action pose first, because I think it looks pretty spot on. Sure it's hard to tell from a still image, but if you look at these two side by side, the animation and the live action look very similar. Look at the way he's holding his glider staff, and the way he's got his hand out with his bending pose. It does feel very similar. The staff itself bears a very similar likeness to the original animation, at least in terms of its shape and form. Albeit the live action photo, you can see there's significantly more detail on the staff than the animation. For example, the hilt of the staff has a symbol on it, and you can see the textured wood grain in the live action more clearly than you can in the animation. Which is a good thing I think, it adds more realness and authenticity to the live action series. Which I guess makes sense considering the original animation was done in 2D way back in 2005, meaning the animation is always going to look a little bit more visually simplistic, and you'll get to see a bit more of that as we compare the clothing, plus the other characters of Team Avatar as well. And talking about differences, have another side by side view look at Aang, because in this one you get to see a better look at the clothing. You can see they look very similar. I think the collar's pretty accurate in the live action, although the colour tones are slightly different, I feel like they're a lot more vibrant in the live action. But certainly the shape and structure of the collar and the other garments that Aang's wearing in the live action feel almost identical to the animation. Again, the live action does have a little bit more detail in that it's got some buttons on top of the tunic and I feel like things along the arms and wrists of the clothing are made to look a little bit more natural in the live action with the bows and knots holding them together, things we just don't see in the animation. I feel like the biggest difference between the animation and the live action though are two things. One, the bending arrow on Aang's head has a lot more detail on it in the live action photo. You can see those little symbols there within the arrow, whereas the animation is pretty much just a painted blue line. Now to be fair I think that does work well for the animation, because it's in line with that simplistic feel of that animation, but that simplicity probably doesn't work in a live action, and I'm guessing that's why they've gone for some additional detail, particularly around this bending arrow. The other noticeable difference I wanted to pick up on is the look of the shaven head. You'll notice it's got some stubble there in the live action shot, compared Compared to the smooth and slick look in the animation. Sure they could have used one of those bald caps in the live action to make it look the same as the animation, but to be fair, I feel like the stubble maybe brings it to life a little bit more in the live action, and that's potentially why they've gone for it. So for Aang you can see they've made a few little subtle tweaks, but nothing really that big, and there's definitely a lot of similarities still between the live action photo and the original animation. Let's move on to Zuko next. So I'm assuming this look for Zuko in the live action photo is when he's about to arrive at the Southern Water Tribe to find Aang. I would say there's definitely a clear likeliness here between the live action and the original animation if you look at these two side by side. The most iconic part, the scar though, does feel a little bit smaller in the live action, but having said that, maybe it's just a matter of perspective in the photo, and maybe if we see different angles, it's going to look a lot bigger, or at least closer to how big it was in the animation. Obviously with the helmet, the ponytail sticking out of the helmet isn't something that's in the animation, but I guess it's something they had to put in the live action given his hairstyle, and maybe it was just a little bit too much detail to try and include in the animation. The structure of the costume is very similar though, from the shoulder pads to the front armour, structurally and visually, they look very similar apart from the additional Fire Nation logos and icons in the live action version. Moving on to Katara. On my last video, a lot of people said they thought the live action photo is from where Katara's water bending to catch the fish, and I think they might be right there. And if we look at the two scenes side by side, there are some clear similarities. Probably the biggest one is the infamous hair loopies, which are there in the live action, although they are braided, which is slightly different to the animation. So I guess they just found a realistic way to do the hair loopies in the live action version. I feel like they're iconic though, so I'm happy they've included them. The clothing themselves look fair fairly accurate, at least in terms of the structure and shape of the clothing. I would say the live action version looks more vibrant. I'm sure in 
in motion and maybe through the events of the episodes, the clothing's going to get a little bit more worn in and look slightly less cosplay-like. You might also notice some little other details of the Katara clothing, kind of similar to what we saw for Aang and Zuko, and that you can see the water tri patterns there. The fur parts of the coat are a little bit more vivid, fluffy, and realistic. You'll also notice Katara does have her mother's necklace in the live action shot, it's just hidden slightly behind her hands. So there are certainly some clear similarities here from the live action photo and the original animation. However, I think there are a fair few differences as well. I won't go into the whole skin colour debate, you guys can talk about that in the comments down below, but certainly the blue eyes I think is something significant to talk about, or at least it's something I see a lot of you talking about. I'm sure they had a good reason not to do the blue eyes, maybe it was something practical like it not being super comfortable for the actors to wear contact lenses. I also saw some people in the comments talk about how wearing contacts restricts your abilities to act with your eyes, so maybe they didn't want that restriction as well, or maybe they're just trying to make Make it a little bit more authentic. Now obviously it's part of her character and indeed it's a feature of most Water Tribe characters in the animation, but the live action clearly isn't following that. I guess the question is, are brown eyes more realistic in real life and that's why they've gone for them? I'm not really sure what the answer is. I guess technically waterbenders don't exist in real life, so we can't really say, but at the same time, maybe you could argue waterbenders are based on native Inuit, who I believe in general do have darker eyes, although well, don't quote me on that because I just googled it and I'm just basing my comments here on a few articles I've read. Now, from a personal point of view, I like the blue eyes, but it's not something that's going to stop me watching the Netflix adaption if they don't have them. The hair colour is also another thing I thought I'd touch on. I've not seen too many people comment on the hair colour, but you can clearly see from the images side by side, Katara does have slightly lighter hair in the animation. I think it's brown. I am slightly colourblind, so you'll have to correct me in the comments. I guess one other thing I would say before we finish this topic is that there's nothing particularly saying just because the original animation had something look a certain way that the live action also has to copy that like for like. We already know there'll be plenty of story aspects that are going to change and be further expanded in this Netflix live action series for Avatar The Last Airbender, so likewise there's nothing saying the characters have to look exactly the same, but I'll let you all debate that in the comments down below. Anyway, let's finish by looking at the final member of Team Avatar, and I feel like Sokka's potentially the most different looking when you compare the live action photo here to the animated photo. Now I'm assuming this scene is from when Sokka's going to defend the Southern Water tribe against Zuko right at the start of episode 2 in the animation, but I'm thinking it's going to be in episode 1 of the live action series. For one, you'll notice he doesn't have his war paint on in the live action photo like he does in the animation. The clothing perhaps feels the most different here out of any of the team avatar as well in the live action. It's not vastly different, but it certainly feels more different than the others, and I'm assuming that's just because if they try to replicate the soccer look from the animation, it just doesn't really copy across as well as maybe the other characters for what they were wearing. Some things that do match though, you'll notice he's wearing his trusty necklace, plus he's also got his trusty boomerang. You can't have soccer without his boomerang, for sure. Although one thing I don't see is his club. You see it in the animation, but we haven't actually seen any evidence it's going to be in the live action, and obviously you can't see it in this photo, unless I'm missing something. One final thing I'll say about this soccer look is that the hairstyle seems to be a close replica, or at least as close as possible as what his hairstyle was in the animation. And apart from the boomerang, I think that's probably the closest thing between soccer here in the live action photo and the animated photo. And there you have it, that's Team Avatar from our first look photos of Netflix live action Avatar The Last Airbender, compared to Team Avatar in the original animation. What are your thoughts? Like I said, let me know in the comments. For now though, don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.